So today, we're taking a peek at some shoes. And these are a couple pairs of shoes from Les Moutons. They are a wool-based, or as the word from France says, sheep. Um, lightweight, wool, highly breathable shoe. My case, what I actually decided to, uh, and I asked to do this review, was for traveling purposes. Lightweight, easy on and off, breathable, and to be honest, comfortable. Uh, and they came through, and I am very impressed. Hey guys, welcome back to TechGooch, and today, technology can be seen in a lot of different ways. Shoe tech, not so much electronic, obviously, but in this case, it makes certain things in your life a lot better. These shoes, I find myself wearing them more and more frequently than I do my other shoes that I own, and I have some fantastic shoes. Uh, so, Le Moton, I actually contacted this company uh, after finding these these shoes online. They're wool based, so they're a full wool upper, um, and they're very so that makes them very breathable. They're antimicrobial. They um, well, they have a lot of nice things because they're all natural. Um, and so I kind of asked them, hey, I'm doing this trip. I'm going to Vegas. I'd love to actually show, uh, you know, try a pair of your shoes on my trip and uh, kind of do a review on them and uh, give my two cents. Hopefully I'll like them as much as I think that I will. And they were happily and very gracious to send me not one, but two pair, two different shoes. Um, and originally I was actually considering taking both pair on my trip, but I was packing really light. So I decided to go with one pair. Now, the pair that I took... I also made modifications too. So when these came, they didn't come with the orange laces. I added those. They just came with standard Thai um, white laces. I opted instead for um, elastic cord. Uh, so I have another pair of shoes that I, I got off. I, I actually backed a Kickstarter about two years ago. And uh, they did this elastic cord that I really like. Um, it keeps the shoe on your foot really well, but it makes you easy on and off, slip on and off essentially, right? Basically like these. But they kind of grab your foot because they allow, they stretch out and then they, they grab on good. So you still have that traditional shoe feel, but you're not tying on and off. Um, so you don't have to do that. You can stick with the standard laces. They do come with white laces. But I thought I'd give it a try with it as my shot cord and this is the first time I actually did it myself on a pair of shoes, and I love it. So, um, in the bottom, in the description, I will also put where you can buy Shockword in all sorts of different colors. This shoe uh, just has all these orange highlights, and of course my dogs are shedding like crazy right now. So, um, even sitting by my door for a night, they have dog hair all over them, and I should have cleaned them before I got on the video. Uh, but, that said, it is what it is. Huskies. Huskies are great. I, I honestly love my Huskies. Um, but yeah, that's these are the classics, and these are their slip-ons. Um, fit. Uh, I wear a size 10 in almost every shoe, 95% of shoes. Some shoes run small, some shoes run large. These run right down the middle. Um, they fit extremely well in my standard 10 size, so I would say size as expected. Um, 79 bucks is what they're currently going for. I think they retail about 95 bucks, but right now it's the sale lease price, 79 on Amazon. Um, really, really good. So I'm going to actually bring it in. We're going to show the, the footage a little bit closer. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, I changed the laces out, but we're going to stick with, obviously, the shock cord laces that I put on them. And then these, and then I'll show you them on my feet, but they're incredibly comfortable. So first looking at the boxes, you can see that I have the standard size 10, uh, 44, or th uh, yeah, 44 European size in men's. These are the beige ones, these are the slip-on ones, and then um, the classic ones are the dark gray, as the color that they call those in classic. Um, both are equally comfortable, uh, to be honest about it. I actually like, I actually tend to grab the laced up versions more frequently than any of the slip-ons. Uh, but that's just because I've never really been a huge standard slip-on kind of loafer kind of guy. I've always been the, the traditional one. I think more than anything, I just like the standout of the, of the laces, the orange uh, with the dark gray back. And of course, you know, you could do this if you had the standard laces, it'd be white. Um, 
but yeah, the uh, the look is fantastic. The wool is extremely comfortable. Um, it breathes so well. It weighs close to nothing. It's great for its weight, um, and that's the big thing about these traveling shoes. These are fantastic. So even if I if I actually did, I was I was I actually had these packed. Um, so I was going to take these in my carry-on, which don't take a whole lot of room because they don't really have a whole lot of structure to the actual shoe, right? It's just mainly the bottoms. Um, and I actually had them in to the last second and I pulled them out because I was thinking, well, I'm going to want that space actually if I get my kids uh, a gift or a shirt or something. And I am glad I did take them out because, uh, well, I did bring back some stuff for my kids and I barely fit in the suitcase. So I am glad I didn't take them, but um, I was going back and forth in the end. Uh, these were the shoe. This is the only pair of shoes I took on my entire trip. So I was in Vegas for four days, and I put a lot of miles on these guys. To be honest, we went we went up and down the entire strip from um, the Luxor all the way up to the Strat, um, and over the course of four days, and just walked all over the place and extremely comfortable. Now I will say that long day use. Uh, these don't have the same support as some of more of my like hiking shoes stuff like that that i would typically kind of take like for something like that that would that would kind of hold up for long days lots of travel these aren't designed for that however i did it and i wasn't disappointed to be honest about it my feet didn't hurt at the end of the day um yeah there's a few times i was standing we just you know by the time you got to the restaurant you're ready to get off you know get your feet up and out but the nice thing about these is that the breathability, you're not sweating and you're definitely, you know, it's wicking away real good. I actually took the the, the night before we left, I actually did a uh, kind of a, a water repellent treatment on this real quick, just the spray on stuff. Um, it did help because uh, it was like third day in, uh, we were, I was eating a chocolate shake and I dripped a big hunk of chocolate shake on the shoe. And uh, I took a wet napkin and just kind of brushed it off. And I have not washed the shoes at all. And I cannot tell you exactly where it landed anymore. So that's solid. That's a, a big plus. Now, I don't know how well that would do with, you know, like the raw fabric. If I didn't do the treatment like these, I didn't treat at all. I don't know how well it would do with that. But I am glad I did it. That said, um, they do have, a, you know, a, a decent insole, you know, kind of, you know, somewhat cushy. But, you know, I'm not going to say that these are the softest of shoes. They have, they're very, very flexible, you know. They're not the most flexible shoe I own either, to be honest about it. But they are very flexible and very airy because they are that wool. And that, that fabric is what you buy these for. You buy these because they are extremely comfortable, lightweight, uh, so they don't really have a whole lot of drag down on you. But they breathe so great. No other shoe that I have breathes nearly as good as these do. So I'm going to stick them on my feet and uh, yeah, have you take a peek at them while they're on my feet. Okay, so we're going to start with the classics, which, like I said, I don't have the tie laces on them. I have the elastic cord laces. So that's the beautiful thing about elastic cord laces. But you still have to adjust the tongue, right? So they slip on and they look really good but they're so god i love these shoes i really do um they're just so comfortable and airy and lightweight like these are shoes i could wear around the house all day and not think anything twice about it you know my other shoes that i own no way i wouldn't do that i could wear them for a while but eventually i gotta get out of these things these things don't have a whole lot of structure to them like i said so your foot can mold to it right so these flex and they just feel really good and they look really good in my opinion of course and i like the the standard of the orange laces that i did i like that a lot you don't have to do that i just did that myself right and so that this is the beautiful thing about the elastic laces i'm i'm off and it's going to be similar to the slip-ons right now the slip-ons aren't going to have the same kind of pressure that these are going to have on the front on the top and the other benefit about the slip-ons is that I don't have the tongue to worry about, right? Making sure the tongue is flat so you don't get like something that's curled up or something like that. And these will look very, very nice as well. And they're very airy. They're essentially the same shoe, just with a slip on top. 
Same thing goes with these. Um, they don't fall off, even though these are definitely more secure. Oh, excuse me. Those are definitely more secure than the slip-ons are, but the slip-ons aren't. They're not falling off at any time soon. And of course, taking them off, that's the beautiful thing about anything that slip on is they come off really fast. So in the end, this review, through my eyes, I've used these for about a month. And these I used for about a total of two weeks because I, I didn't take them on my trip and I didn't uh, use them for the first week out of my basically all just used these. So about half as long, equal. In my, in my eyes, they're equal. But if I'm going to buy one pair versus the other, I like, if nothing else, just the look of the the laces that just has a little more pop to me. These look more lounging. These are more of a sneaker look, right? That's what I like. And so I would opt for these personally, but it's not because of comfort or, or, use, or usability or anything like that. Equal in that regard. Um, I love the, uh, the shot cord. I really do. Uh, so... Uh, Le Mouton, if you're looking to do an upgrade or change out or make an option, this is a fantastic option. It works really good. You just put a, a big old knot on the side so it can't pull through. And of course, uh, it took me two times. I, I did have to do it on the first one uh, twice because I made it the first shot cord too short and it just, <laughs> it was too tight. You want them loose, to be honest about it. Uh, just tight enough to hold on. And uh, yeah, I think I hit a, a perfect perfect grasp on 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 the the set that i do have now at least but they look fantastic and they're extremely comfortable and lightweight uh so these are made in korea uh and i think le mouton is a korean company if i'm not mistaken but they did send these to review for me to review i did ask them to um, i specifically reached out because i was looking for a shoe for traveling and this travel set of videos that I'm doing um, one of the products that I had with me that I'm so glad I had with me are these shoes very lightweight very comfortable very easy to take on and off now I actually travel now this was my first trip that I actually had a TSA pre-check so going through Chicago O'Hare I didn't have to take my shoes off however when I was coming back in Vegas uh, it was on Super Bowl Sunday and it was not busy at all, and they did not have the pre-check line open. So I was really glad to have these. Uh, even though I showed them that I had pre-check, they still made me go through the standard stuff. On the, my other buddy who was also pre-check went through a different line, they he, they were, rushed him right through. So whatever, I'm not going to complain. I'm so glad I had these shoes. So uh, even if I didn't have to take them off, and I was just just for the airplane ride and, and stuff like that, the you know I'm not sweating in my feet and being very uncomfortable. These made traveling much more enjoyable than my traditional shoes would have done. And to be honest, walking as much as I did, I still loved them. I really did. Typically, I go traveling with if I go into the summer, it's always going to be uh, like sandals, my chalk sandals. But these are fantastic because they allow my air feet to air out without actually being a sandal. Especially in this time of year, right? With as cold as it was. So, uh, not in Vegas though. It was warm. That said, guys, we're coming to the end. Um, obviously, I have a, uh, I'll, I'll have a lot more travel videos coming up. But, Le Mouton, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me to test these out. Uh, I am now a huge supporter of these wool shoes. So... It's not because they sent me these at all. It's because these are a solid product. I really enjoy them, and I put a lot of miles on this pair, and they still they held up very, very, very well. I'm not going to say they're going to hold up for five, ten years. That ain't going to happen. I don't know too many pairs of shoes that I actually own anymore that I would say that's true. Um, because these are a really lightweight shoe, you can probably have a little more wear and tear on them. Um, I'm not noticing it yet, but, you know, I really like them. If they wear out, they're going to get replaced with the exact same shoe. That's me. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking to the end. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And head over to techcooch.com if you have any direct questions for me. So, thank you for watching. Catch you back here for another future video review right here on Tech Cooch. See you soon.